to Travel Snacks, or if this is your first time, welcome to the live stream and to the channel. And it's been a couple weeks, and I am happy to be back on the live stream. Let me get situated here. So, let's see who we have here. And while we do that, hold on, let me turn this thing on. Travel Snacks is all about traveling, eating good food, being kind to one another, being resourceful, and maybe living an alternative lifestyle. Like maybe you want to live in your car, van, RV, tiny home, something like that. And here we're all for it and we're supportive. Pay for the membership. Oh, and welcome. <laughs> so let's see who we have here. I'm trying to get this thing to go. Okay, here we go. All right, so hello to Patrick, to AGT's in the house. Welcome back, welcome back, Jasmine Garcia. Uh, and our OG moderator Grant Hewell's in the house. Happy Snack Chat Saturday. Um, hey, Rachel John Fleming, how are you? Austin Gallagher. Oh, awesome. Okay. Um, hey, Carmen Carmenetti. Jane Gray's in the house. Hey, Denise. Welcome back, Kayla. Hey. Uh, let's see. Let me scroll back. Hey, jo Joanne Reed and a writer. And hey, Carol. Uh, yes, um, it is very hot. So uh, where I'm at right now, I am near Peekskill, New York. Yes, I've made it all the way up to New York. And it's hot. I'm going to have to keep going because it's, it's so hot. It's like 90, it was about 91 already today. I don't know if it's still about 90. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Right now it says 93. So actually it seems hotter. Um, so in a few minutes I'm going to have to turn my engine back on and start the AC. But right now I just have my windows down. Um, but it has been hot all the way. Um, hey Don Don. How are you? Hey Bill Provost. Hey Judy Stewart from Iowa. Hey Javier Gomez. Thank you. And big baller, fuel hauler. Awesome. Um, so there's a lot to talk about today because I've been off the live streams for two weeks, as as you guys have been too. Um, so let's see. Hey, Miss Kulka at 825. Oh, Canada. Awesome. And Deborah on the go. Oh, awesome. Thank you. And Teresa's in the house. And I don't know where's Herkimer. I don't know where that is. And Teresa's from New Hampshire. Awesome. I'll be, I think I'm going to New Hampshire. Um, before we get too far ahead, if you are on this live stream, throw a like on it real quick because that lets YouTube know that you like the live streams. And if you're new, this is the first time you're here or you're just new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know, you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video or a short or a live stream or any of that. Hey, Monica, how are you? Um, let's see. Also, I have so much to talk about. I don't even know where to start. It's crazy because for those of you that don't know that are maybe here for the first time or kind of new to the channel, um, I've been doing live streams every Saturday for over a year. And we have several moderators on here, but uh, Grant, who's our OG moderator, he's been to pretty much every single live stream. So if you guys have any questions, pretty much all the moderators might know the answers, but Grant will know the answer if I skip over something. Oh, let me hit live stream instead of top chat. Um, okay. Hey, Bobby Campbell from Oklahoma. Awesome. Okay. Um, so I've been doing live streams for over a year, every Saturday, and I think I've only missed maybe a couple over the past year and a half, but I had been feeling a little down, a little mentally drained, a little burnt out, and just, um, from traveling so much and the van build, I'm gonna have to turn this air back on because it is too hot. Roll these windows back up. And so a couple weeks back, we were doing the live stream, and um, prior to that, I had decided that I'm going to take a pause on the live streams. So I took a pause for the last two weeks, two weekends, and now we're back today. So 
it's an exciting time, but usually when I have them every Saturday, I tell you where I'm at and what I'm doing. So now it's, I think, I don't even know where I was the last time I talked to you guys. Um, I really don't even know. <laughs> so I went through several states and we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Um, but the break was really, really good uh, for me mentally. I do feel a lot better mentally. Um, I connected with some people. Uh, I rested a lot. Um, and I try to take care of my health, but then some things went wrong, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, so yeah, so the break was definitely a good thing. And if you, not even if you're a content creator, but especially if you're a content creator where you're constantly having to think about new things, but if, if you have a demanding job or a demanding family life or anything demanding, uh, I, I do recommend taking breaks at times because it can really mess you up and I felt myself slipping down mentally and so taking that break just off of social media in general and you know doing the live streams even though I missed you guys a lot it did help tremendously to just get a mental break so I'm glad to be back um, I do want to say congratulations to the channel because we're now at 32,000 snack packers, which is awesome and mind blowing. And another celebration is that Simon the Snackmobile, which is my van, uh, had his first year birthday. So one year ago, that was on um, June 3rd, one year ago I purchased Simon. And so that was just two days ago and I was like oh how cute we had uh, our first little Simon birthday Simon Eileen Vantasia sharp the snack mobile <laughs> so we had uh, you know just like a little I was like oh I just did like a little like tap and I was like congratulations for being here for a year uh, so it's interesting because it's it's like it doesn't feel like a year but it also feels like a hundred years it feels like so long ago that I bought this van and did the van build, but also it's weird to think that I've already had this van for one year. So that's exciting. Um, so I'm just really glad to be back with you guys. It's so good to see you guys. Uh, let me scroll back a little bit. Oh, no wonder. I'm like, why am I, I didn't put my glasses on. <laughs> Uh, how am I staying cool? I'm gonna have to make a video about it because I'm really not staying that cool. Um, but I'm, I'm trying out a lot of different things. Um, I don't really know at this point. I've, uh, there's so many things that I'm trying, but I got a little fan. I tried one of those little like portable, um, swamp coolers that didn't work. I bought some new sheets that works like some moisture wicking sheets. That's been working a little bit. I bought a, uh, like a moisture wicking blanket that helps a little bit. It's just like everything just adds up a little bit to stay slightly cooler. Um, and then I have my max air fan and I pop the windows and sometimes I just open this curtain and turn on my engine, my AC in the front. And that helps a little bit just to cool down the whole van. Hey, Ray Ray, uh, more, more important that you take care of yourself than you stream. We miss you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, oh, I was in Virginia. That's a, like a long time ago. Hey, Greg from Texas. Hey, Gloria from Florida. Uh, Kayla and I, okay, awesome. Mike Brady's in the house. What, what? Using my cell phone, just figured out how to chat. Hello all in Redding, California today because of my job at the Greyhound. Oh, awesome, welcome. Hey, Reverend RV. Hey, Ray Ray from Fargo in North Dakota. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for all the congrats and the whoop whoops. Uh, oh, it's 100 in Fargo today, so I know what you're saying, it's, it's hot. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, a year. This is like only the second live I've seen. Oh, awesome, I'm glad you're here. Hey Mary S. Hey Fiore Antonio 99. Oh, you're graduating. Congratulations, Kayla. Hey Mimi's in the house. Good to see you too. Tanya's in the house. Hey Michelle. Health is wealth. Good on you for recognizing you were at a deficit and course corrected. Yes, indeed. 
hope everything's going good for you. Hey Rebel, Canners, how are you? I'm a new follower, started researching on living in my small, oh awesome, I'm glad you're here. I'm right now I'm in uh, like near Peekskill, New York. So I, I think it's, I'm just thinking, I think it's like 45 minutes, 30 minutes or 45 minutes outside of the city, New York City. brought a school I bought a schoolie and I'm turning it into an RV oh that's awesome those schoolies are really cool hey from the UK where it was actually hot and sunny today <laughs> uh, hey Karen Palmer from Maryland glad glad you are here um, okay so a couple things I did go to Maryland um, and guess who I met she's not on here but I met a snack packer in person do you guys want to guess or do you want me to just tell you? I'm so hyped to finally graduate. My graduating day is on the 24th of the, I bet. That's super exciting. What are your thoughts about the movie Nomadland? We actually talked about that on another live stream, but I thought it was a great movie. I'm a little depressing, but also I thought it was awesome. Hey, Patricia Bailey, uh, Patricia from Colorado. Hey, Debbie Lee, um, first timer. Oh, glad you're here. Hopefully out uh, on first time next week. On the road. Oh, okay. Awesome. Wet a towel, lay it down. It'll cover you. Cools down your body totally. Oh, I did buy some of those um, wet towels that you wet and snap them and then they cool down. It's helpful a little bit, but then your, your skin feels like kind of clammy. Uh, I did not beat Barbara. I did not meet two sisters in a cocktail. Uh, Ivana, she's in California. Uh, let's see. I'm a nomad and my birthday is June 14th and I'm a, in a little car, but I'm loving it. Oh, that's awesome. Little cars are great. Not much work out of Seattle right now. So they're moving us. Oh, moving us around to other locations. I don't like it much better, but, but it's better than unemployment. That's true. First time here in Arizona. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? How's your son doing? Seen your video. I am glad he talked you out of the crazy thoughts about foot pictures. Yes, me too. Thank God everything worked out for you so you didn't have to do that. Yes. And yeah, he's doing great. Uh, thanks, Mimi. Oh, you, Mike, you're leaving in a motel for a month. Oh, okay. That's an adventure in itself. Um, so I met Terry Zleski in real life and she's the nicest person ever. And she lives um, in Maryland, and uh, she has been she's been such a supporter of the channel. And also, oh, if you do want to make a donation to the snack fund, you can hit the little dollar sign at the uh, bottom of the chat. Um, that's a YouTube donation. They take thirty percent, so I don't really recommend that. But you can also donate through PayPal, or um, they take fees too. But also Cash App or Venmo, they don't take any fees. Um, it's never required or obligated, but I do like to mention it because it does help me stay on the road, keep the channel going, and some people ask me about it, so I just like to mention that. And I thought about that right then because Terry has been such a supporter of the snack fund, the snack pack. She's donated and uh, just, I mean, she's just like been such a support and such an encouragement and always is praying for me and praying for the snack pack. And she was just you know she had sent me emails over the year of support and she was like if you ever get to maryland let me know so we actually met up at a um at a restaurant and we had the best food we had um i had a cream of crab soup which i've never had before and it was delicious the best soup one of the best soups i've ever had in my life and then we had crab cake sandwiches and uh sweet potato fries and then we just walked around and she's just so generous and giving and just such a support and it came at the right time because you know I like to be alone in my van and I don't meet up with a lot of people um, but she's just like she's a believer and she, you know sometimes it's really nice to be around believers that'll pray for you and stuff and we met up and it was just nice to have somebody to talk to in person when I was going through like kind of like a mentally hard time a little bit and it was just, it was just cool. It was just a great time. So we had a really nice time. Hopefully she'll pop on. Um, she brought me a big old bag of Reese's cups, like the little miniature Reese's cups and a nice card and a donation. Um, and we went to the Maritime Museum. 
uh, it was it was awesome. It was just like a great afternoon, and I just really appreciated it so much. I don't think she's in the chat right now. I did meet Terry. Yes, we didn't. I didn't do a video. Um, I was going to do a video, I was thinking about doing it, but then I was like, you know what, I said I was going to take a break, and I really just want to enjoy this time with Terry. We did take one picture, um, so let me see if I can pull it up. I've taken so many videos and pictures since then. Let's see here. Let me scroll back. I feel like I've been to like 100 places since then. Look at, cute, huh? Wait, let me, hold on. Can you guys see that? Me and Terry Zaleski at the, I don't know where we were actually, somewhere in Maryland. St. Michael's, I think it was. Uh, but it was really, it was like right on the water and it was just really a great time. So uh, she's great. Uh, do you like the area where you're staying? Um, the area where, where I'm staying right now is really pretty. Um, and I've been here for about a week actually a little longer than a week which I'll get to in just a couple minutes um, but I do like it it's really pretty um, the only thing I don't like which I didn't even know this was really a thing is I always like to go wherever I go and whatever state I go to I always look up parks near me on you know Google and then I'll find different parks and then I'll go park there and whatever and so pretty much everywhere around here has a sign that says for residents only like their public parks are for this county's residents only so I don't know how like I don't know if you have to have to have a tag or a parking permit or whatever but I think that's kind of annoying and not really welcoming as a visitor and I kind of get why they do it maybe just to keep it you know nice but also if people are visiting from other states or countries or whatever it's like everyone should be sharing <clears throat> so I never really I don't know that kind of has bummed me out so that's why I'm just like at the mall in a parking lot because I literally looked at like 10 different parks and either it was paid parking or it was only for residents so other than that it's, it's been nice um let's see oops scrolled back too far Uh, thanks, Grant, for posting those links. Cream of crab, yes. I've never even heard of cream of crab. It's it's like a it was like a uh, like a clam chowder, and it was awesome. Terry is the greatest. I'm glad you had a great time. Yes. Um, that sounds delicious. I like to travel just to eat at different places. Yes, me too. I'm waiting on my bed build in my van this week fingers crossed oh awesome well, this weekend oh good for you that's gonna be an adventure we look like sisters awesome finally finished most of your videos so the 64 year old is about to get started in a car like oh awesome it's definitely a journey is it easy to find a place to sleep where you are it's fairly easy there's not as many hotels around here uh, last night I ended up in a apartment complex residential area. There's like plenty of open spaces. Um, that leads me to my next thing. I actually finally got to a church, uh, like a real in-person church, because a lot of the churches were still closed. Um, and I met some people at the church, and actually the pastor and his wife, and they were the nicest people. They are the nicest people. Um, they took me out to lunch, and then they were like, you can park uh, at the church any night. And also, um, they let me stay with them a couple of nights, which was really fun and really nice to meet some new people. Uh, so it was great. So I'd say it wasn't too hard to find parking so far. And before this, I was in a town called Terrytown, T-A-R-R-Y town, Terrytown. Um, and that was not too hard to find uh, parking there as well. Hey, Chris Scott. Sorry I'm late. Good to see you. Awesome. Glad you're here. Hey, Debbie Kennedy's in the house. Uh, let's see. Oh, Terry's in the house. Terry, I just got done talking about you. Good stuff. Telling them all about our adventure when we went and had good food and went to the Maritime Museum. 
I'm so sorry I'm late. I had connectivities, so my husband was sweet enough to drive me to a place. Oh, that's so sweet. Allison saw the hospital. No, hope you're. Yeah, I'm going to talk about the hospital thing in just a few minutes. Um, yeah, Terry, I was just telling them how we had a wonderful time and it was a, just a perfect time to be around uh, somebody that was praying for me and just, it was a great time just walking around and talking and it was awesome. I was just about to say that, OG, oh, you never go. Who's on the chat? Yes. Um, let's see, blah, blah, blah. sounds like you now said, we had a great time. I feel you went to health has been up and down and need prayers. Everybody keep everybody in their prayers, especially Kayla with just almost graduating, which is awesome. Um, but if you're feeling down, definitely connect with somebody. Um, it's very important to stay in contact with friends and family. That's amazing. God works in great ways. Yes, he does. Sounds like had a, we had an awesome time. <laughs> yes. Churches are the best place to be. Yes. I see my cardiologist soon, too, for my heart. So I need prayers for this, too. Okay, everybody keep pay Kayla in your prayers. Hey, Pokey fan, how are you? Typing while John is driving. We are chasing signals and cracking up. Oh, awesome. Uh, let's see. Nomad Land de uh, depressed me. You inspire me. Oh, awesome. Uh, Nomad Land can be kind of depressing. I guess just the pain depends on the way you look at it. Um, being a nomad is not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's like it can be lonely. But it's also very freeing so I guess it just depends um, I don't know I like being a nomad but it is it is pretty lonely sometimes oh that's YouTube telling me that uh, I'm live <laughs> uh, let's see let's see let's see oh DTS come through with the five dollars hey, said how to be more confident in myself and care less about what people think uh, just decide just decide to do it um, I, I heard somebody talking about something recently. I don't know if it was a podcast or I don't know what it was, but it was like somebody was saying like one of the best, maybe it was a TikTok. I don't know. One of the best pieces of advice they got is to not, not think that everything is about you. And I was like, Ooh, that's a good burn. But also that's true. Cause all of us are always thinking like we take things personally and People use that like as a cliche, like, oh, don't take it personally, but we don't ever stop and think like everything we think about, we're nervous because we're thinking about how it's affecting us, that someone's thinking about us, that someone's laughing at us, that someone's talking behind our back. Everything is so us focused. And I started to realize like, oh, no, it's not all about me. So if I start to go down that road, like, oh, they're going to think this or they're going to think that, then I try to nip that and be like, it doesn't matter. You know, if they have a problem, if they, you know, the collective they, if people have a problem with whatever I'm doing or saying or whatever, it's up to them to say something to me or be like, that's whatever. Uh, but I don't have to always worry or wonder if somebody's thinking this or that or whatever. So confidence is just going through life living just as a person. We're all human and we can just live however and just be respectful and loving and kind to each other. And if someone has a problem with it, that's up to them to to contact you or whatever. But um, it's practice too, you know? I'm not perfect at it because I still, I do still concern myself with people because I want people to be happy, but um, it's a balance. So I would say just start small and realize that you, you have value as a person as well. Um, but we are called as Christians, if you're a Christian, we are called to love one another and put people um, in a good light and try to do our best to care about other people. So I don't know if that's helpful, but I don't know what I just did here. Uh, oh, I was going to give you the shout out. <laughs> I was like, why am I having my phone open? Um, let's give you... Oh, that's not, that's not loud enough. Thank you so much I appreciate you being here and thank you for the donation it is a blessing um, hey Gina K Landis I haven't been on in a while also had downtime better now oh awesome good I'm glad you had a good downtime as well Monique how are you where are you what are you doing uh, Deborah on the go I'm in Florida I did a no build on my little transit but now I'm working on a medical transport van it's tall inside I'm getting my confidence up and right oh that's awesome those, those medical um, transport vans are super awesome. Thanks, Pokefan. 
Nomadland dealt with grief more than anything else, in my opinion. Yes, that was a good way to put it. Hey, Eric, check out Lake Wallenpopek in Pennsylvania. There's Holly north of there, really scenic area. Oh, awesome. Um, I'm definitely going to keep going up because um, of the weather, but I'm st I want to get all the way up to Maine, so I will check that out. Hey, Adventures of Miss Peach, Joanna's in the house. If you guys aren't already, you guys should be following Adventures of Miss Peach. Glad you're here. Um, I went to Calvary Chapel, Terry, and that was actually a re recommendation by Terry. She's like, you should just look up a Calvary Chapel. And so I took her advice and I looked up a Calvary Chapel and then I went to a Calvary Chapel and it was great. You can't live your life by the choices and decisions of others because guaranteed they would not live their life by your choices. Oh, that's a good one. Woohoo, I'm going to church tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to go back to church tomorrow as well. Hey, Austin Gallagher. Allison, are you okay? Glad you're out of. Yes, I am, and I'm going to talk about that in just a couple minutes. To anyone having stressful times and suffering with poor mental health, please keep in touch with your supportive people. Know that you are in my prayers. God knows your names and knows your needs. Amen, amen. That's great. Thank you, Rachel. I went to a Christian school for six years, and I want to go back to church. You should. Um, I'm not saying church is the end all be all, but I do know that the more you go to a church or get around supportive people, it does help. You never know who you're going to meet and maybe you might be the person that helps the other person at church. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, hey, Jonathan. Um, took a while. Let's see. Yes. Okay. So let me move on here. Um, Okay, so what have I been eating? Uh, let me tell you what I've had. I'm not going to tell you everything I've had, clearly, but I'm just going to tell you. Um, so I told you about the the cream of crab and the crab cakes that we had in uh, Maryland. Then I went to Delaware, and I had uh, something called duck donuts, which was okay, and I made a little video, so I'll put that up later. And then I went to New Jersey, and I had pork roll hash, because I guess pork roll is a thing that I never heard of, and I had that in New Jersey. And then now I came to New York and last Sunday after church, we went to this pizza spot and we had so much pizza. It was awesome. But my favorite one was called Grandma's Pizza and it was like kind of like a margarita with extra garlic, but it was like a like a Sicilian. Oh, it was so good. And then we had and then I had a cappuccino afterwards. It was awesome. So I've been trying to get little things throughout the states. Um that's kind of like known for that area but I didn't stay very long in any of those states uh, because it was just hot I had to keep going and so I'm still trying to work my way up to get to cooler weather it was actually pretty nice here in New York it rained a lot and it was not as hot but then today and tomorrow and I, I think pretty much the rest of the week is gonna be hot but there's several things that I'm trying to eat while I'm in New York um, the new friends that I met uh, they told me like gave me a list of all the things I need to eat and plus if you guys aren't already you should be following Kels Acosta his channel he's in New York and we're gonna try to meet up and he's in the city so I don't know if, how we're gonna work that out but um, maybe I'll park the van or something and go take the train I don't know how where the trains go or whatever but um, we're gonna try to link up and do a video about food so I'm gonna be doing some stuff here in New York and as soon as I'm done eating all the food here, then I'm gonna move on to Connecticut and just keep going. <clears throat> so that's my plan. Um, also, since we have a lot of people on right now, let me read these comments and then I'm going to tell you what the plan is. Um, God is good all the time, yes, indeed. Hey, Kath Kitty, glad you're here. I was in, oh, Truckee, California, Tahoe, and Reno for three weeks. I'm back in Florida. Oh, awesome. That's a good trip. Tahoe is beautiful. The Bible says we should fellowship together. That's true. Monique, I just had duck donuts this morning. Oh, awesome. Did you love it? Duck donuts, you go in and you, like, they make the donut right then. Like, you order the donut, they make the donut, and then you tell them what kind of toppings. So, it's pretty awesome. Um perfectly said yes you can make a big difference in someone's life with one kind act and a simple hello yes indeed hey Rebecca rebar 64 made it and have been watching softball oh awesome um, 
sorry you're eating all of the food in New York. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't resist. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so... Um, hey, Camille Simmons, how are you? 80 people in chat tonight. Thanks, everyone, for the support. Yes, thank you guys for being here. I'm so glad to see so many people on here. Uh, New York City is the worst city to drive through. I did it twice. Apologies to those who live. Yeah, that's the thing is like, I don't want to drive my van in the city because the streets are narrow. I've been in New York City a couple times, more than a couple times, and I'm nervous about driving my van down there. So that's why I'm saying I don't think I'm going to, I don't know. I'll see. But that's not a goal of mine to drive my van into New York City. Um, but there is a lot of good food to eat. Thanks, Rachel. Um, okay. Um, so, on the note of mental health and taking breaks, and also on the note of it's hot and everybody's out doing all kinds of stuff, and I really encourage everybody to get out, take a walk, go with people, be out, live your life. My, you know my little acronym, goal, get out and live. I always like to tell people that, get out of your house, don't trap yourself, try to get around people because it's good for your mental health. And also walking is good for your physical health. Um, I've decided to start doing the snack chat Saturday every other Saturday. So I'm not going to be doing it every Saturday. Um, I might resume that when it gets colder, when people are back in their homes. Um, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Um, but for the foreseeable future, for at least the summer, for the next couple months, um, it's going to be every other. So the next snack chat Saturday will be on the 19th. So mark that in your calendars or whatever um, and show up if you want and if you're out doing something then great I highly encourage you to get out and do things um, the snack chat Saturday is fun for me and I know it's fun for a lot of you and I really want to be here with you guys but I also know that you know it's summer it's time to go out and you know enjoy the weather so we're gonna do it every other Saturday so I hope that's good for you guys and I think it'll be really good because then I'll be able to like build up more stuff to talk about and I think it'll be fun. And then you guys can get out and do some stuff as well. Uh, good plan. Every other week we'll give you some time to yourself. Yes. Yeah. And I think, um, it, cause like I do a lot of like this week I didn't do any editing. I took a break, which is going to lead me to my next story about being in the hospital. But, uh, it did help me to like gather my thoughts and think about you know what videos I want to put out and you know the content that I want to do and so I think having a Saturday that I can work on that as well will be beneficial so um, and we're gonna pause the late night snacks because the late night snack was just a fun thing but it was a little more work than I thought it was gonna be because I had to look up stories people didn't really send in dating stories it's fun and I might resume that in, like in the future but for now, we're just going to pause the late night snack chats um, because, it, like I said, it's just like an extra thing. Um, I'm thinking of some other stuff that I'm going to be doing in the future, so I'll keep you posted on that. Okay, let's see. Uh, there goes my excuse for not mowing the yard. <laughs> you could just pretend. Uh, just be careful on the George Washington Bridge in New York. You can drive your van in auto lanes. Don't have to peel off where trucks... Okay. It's 88 in Michigan. It's the hottest summer since 1988. Oh, dang. Yeah, that's, it's so hot. Like once it starts getting in the, I'd say, I don't know, in the van, I think it's like once it's in like 83, 84 and higher, that's when it starts to get like really uncomfortable. And then I have to turn on my engine and run the AC up here in the front. Um, it's not comfortable. Okay, so some of you are probably like, get to the story about you being in the hospital. Okay, so I hadn't been feeling mentally well. I hadn't been feeling great just in general for a while. Um, I was feeling really lethargic in the past couple of weeks. Um, like I usually don't ever take naps. I did when I used to work a job, which is weird, but since I've been in the car and in the van, I and obviously during the van build, I never took naps. Um, I don't usually take naps. But in the past couple weeks, I was like, so like I would, I would eat food and then I would just be like, not even when I would eat food, but just a lot of times when I would eat, I would feel like I couldn't even stay awake. I was so tired and I was like, oh my gosh, like maybe I'm dehydrated. So I started drinking a lot more water 
and I try to eat more fibrous things and like try to just, you know, be a little more healthy. So the videos that I post about eating like all these crazy foods or like stuff, donuts and all these things, I don't eat like that all the time. I try to eat mostly healthy and then I go to restaurants and stuff for travel snack stuff. Um, but for the most part, I try to do healthy stuff. But I had been slipping out on my water. I hadn't really been, you know, drinking much water. And I had kind of been eating a lot of like bready things and not a lot of fibrous things. So in the past, I don't know, couple weeks, like it was kind of like a slope, you know, like I was starting to feel worse and worse. And then the past couple weeks, every time I would eat something, my stomach would hurt. And so I was like, okay, uh, maybe I'm just eating too much dairy or I don't know, whatever. Um, but it was just becoming more uncomfortable and so I think it was Wednesday night my lower left side was really hurting I was having abdominal pain like really bad um, actually Tuesday night and Wednesday night um, and on Wednesday night it was really bad I was having really bad abdominal pain and I was like you know what I don't want to mess around with this because what if it's appendicitis or something so I was like if it's not if I don't feel better in the morning then I'm gonna go I'm gonna call my doctor call the um, the doc my doctor's office in California so and the, when I woke up in the morning my stomach still hurt my I had abdominal pain it wasn't like stabby death pains but it was enough pain for me to consider going to the doctor so I called my doctor's office in um, California and I got onto the advice line or advice nurse. They connected me with the advice nurse and she asked me like a bunch of questions and then she, you know she's like I said should I go to urgent care or emergency room and she's like with the way you answer these questions I would recommend going straight to the emergency room. And so I was like, oh my gosh, okay. Um, so I had to find out where the emergency room was. There was two kind of nearby. Um, and I just was like looking up reviews. I'm like, I don't know which one to pick because I don't know. <laughs> I'm not from here. So I just picked a hospital and went in there and I was just kind of bent over because I was having like so much pain in my side. Um, so they took me in like within 10 minutes. Um, they they started an IV right away uh, to get fluids in me. They took a lot of blood um, and then the doctor came in and they were like, we're gonna do um, a CAT scan. And I was like, whoa, okay. Um, so they had me drink this disgusting, no, it wasn't disgusting, it wasn't that, that bad, but it was like this lemon water, lemony water stuff. It wasn't like the best tasting, but it wasn't like the worst. But I had to drink like 30 something ounces of this white liquid stuff to guess it was like irrigation liquid. Um, and then when I was drinking that, then the doctor, oh, sorry. And then when I was drinking that, the doctor came back in and was like, we're also going to do an ultrasound uh, as well. So I got all the tests. I think I was there for four or five hours. Um, and you know, I'm not going to share all my medical history <laughs> or medical stuff on YouTube. Um, but they did rule out appendicitis because there was one thing they were seeing on the CAT scan that part of my appendix was enlarged but not inflamed. So they were con maybe con concerned a little bit that it might be appendicitis. Um, but they also ruled out diverticulitis and something else I forget some other things but basically they said that they don't really know what the problem is which is not a great thing because by the time I was released they I was like well I'm still having pain so I don't really know what to do and they're like well we've done a lot of tests we can't find anything that's emergent emergent is that the word emergent they're like, we're the emergency room. So we do all the stuff to make sure that you're not gonna like explode or die or whatever, which is fair, I get it. And they're like, you need to follow up with your GI doctor. And I'm like, well, I'm not from here. And so they're like, well, you need, when you go to California, back to California, you need to go get some more tests. And I said, well, is it like urgent? Like, do I need to go back today? And they're like, 
okay, what we want you to do is, you know, we're going to release you from the hospital. But we want you to come back immediately if you vomit, have a fever, or have blood in your urine. And so I was like, okay. And then they said, and we want you to come back tomorrow for a reevaluation to check out like your stomach and make sure that your appendix hasn't gotten more enlarged or inflamed or anything. So I went, I left the hospital on Thursday. Um, and I still had the pain. And I was like, what am I supposed to do with the pain? And she's like, just take a Tylenol, which I was like, Tylenol doesn't work for me, but whatever. So I left. Um, I, you know, slept for the night and then I went back the next day and had a different doctor. Um, and he looked at all my stuff again, pressed my stomach. Um, he talked for me to me for a long time, which I really appreciated. Um, and he talked to me about all the results and everything. Um, but he basically said that I really need to get some more tests from a GI doctor. Um, but they ruled out appendicitis and diverticulitis. Uh, so the other thing is just diet, exercise, like everything else, diet, exercise, water, which I have water. And I've been drinking a lot more water. Um, and it could just be dehydration, uh, and just whatever basic things. Uh, so anyways, that's what happened. I ended up in the hospital because I was having abdominal pain. I'm still having a little bit of pain but nothing like terrible. Um, and that's why I've been laying off all the foods this week. <laughs> so I haven't really been eating anything crazy. And so when I'm talking about doing like eating all the list of foods that everyone's been telling me from New York, um, I have the list, but I I really am not doing any of that right now because I'm just eating like, you know, fibers like oatmeal. I went and got some raspberries. Did you know that raspberries have like a lot of fiber? I didn't even really think about raspberries. Raspberries, pears, uh, bananas, apples, um, lots of fruits, uh, grains and stuff like that. So I've just been trying to eat really basic. I've only been eating like one time a day cause I haven't really had an appetite. Uh, I don't know why just haven't really, maybe it's also cause it's hot. So there's definitely some things going on in my body that my body's not happy about. Um, but they checked for my blood my white blood count and that was fine as well um, so anyways it, it was it was I won't say it was scary because I wasn't scared but I was just concerned because I had to go to the hospital um, but I was glad to get an IV because I think it rehydrated me a little bit and that made me feel a little bit better um, so anyways my thought is at this point I haven't decided this at all but just sharing with you guys my thought is that I might fly back to California. I might park my van in September. Well, I know I know it's still a long time away, but the plan was for me to go back in December. But I might park my van, fly back in September for my birthday, visit with my family and some of my friends in California, um, and then maybe make some appointments with my doctor for then, so then I can get the ball rolling. And then when I go back in December, if there's any further tests or like retests or whatever, then I would have already had some tests in September. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing 100% because this just happened Thursday and Friday. I was in the hospital Thursday and Friday. Um, so I don't know. That's what's going on. This is real life, real life, real van life. <laughs> so it's interesting because, you know, when you're traveling, it's like you don't know where to go. You don't have anybody. And it was my mom and dad are so sweet. My, I called my mom. I was like, I don't want to alarm you, but I'm in the hospital. She's like, oh my God, you want us to fly out right now? And I was like, no. I was like, I need to get some tests. Uh, you know, everything's fine for now. So there's no surgeries, anything like that. So all my friends and family were like offering to fly out. And I was like, no, let's not do that. So let me read some of these comments. Hot is bad enough. Hot and humid is even worse. Yes, that's true. This is your work, of course. Oh, that's my reminder to drink my water. I put a reminder on my phone to start drinking more water. Oh, I'm getting an alert. Hold on. Oh, Randall. 
Randall Cromer sent you $10. Glad to have you back. Oh, thank you so much, Randall. That is very sweet of you and much appreciated. And let's give you... Let's give you... Oh, this one. He shoots, he scores! <laughs> Thank you so much, Randall. I truly appreciate it. It's a very big blessing, and I appreciate you donating to the Snack Fund. Um, also, let's see. What was I doing? Did I get sidetracked? No. Okay. My phone is making weird noises. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. This is your work, of course, you need a vacay from work. Yes, thank you. Yes, that's true too. I'm always like hesitant to take a break because I'm like, I always want to keep pushing out new content and stuff. But you're right, I do need to take a break sometimes. Um, hey, Mad Titan, how are you? Um, I'm doing much better. Uh, let's see. Las Vegas in the house, a rise and shine. 108 now. Oh, Hold on a second. I just looked up and this says 112. What's this say? No, it says 92. I think my thing on my my temperature gauge is wrong on my van. But 108, that's, that's too hot. I'm literally in the house. You're probably insulin resistant. I don't know. I don't know. I lived in New York State all my life. Oh, awesome. New York's beautiful. It's in the 90s in Minnesota. Oh my gosh. I've been on a motorcycle for the last month. Oh, from California to Florida and back. Those, that's awesome. 90s and Carson City, Nevada. Gallbladder. I don't know. I don't know what all they covered. They gave me like the thickest stack of paperwork with all my test results and stuff. So I'm going to send that over to my doctor um, and see what they want to do with that. Um, sounds like it could be gallbladder, you poor thing. I don't know. Maybe. Can they detect gallbladder? Gla <laughs> Can they detect gallbladder problems from a CAT scan? Is that the test they do? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Smart that you checked it out. Always good to listen to your body. Yes. This sounds like something I had about 10 years ago. It was a blockage. Or so. Oh, okay. You were drinking Ducast for the test. Okay. Jackie suffers from di diverticulitis from time to time. So I have diver diverticulosis and little fun fact medical Thing that I learned this week is that so you get you can get diverticulosis osis and that's like these little pockets that develop in your colon and then if those get inflamed or whatever then it turns into diverticulitis so I have the osis I don't have the itis that's what they said which I already knew I had diverticulosis because I had a colonoscopy before um, so that's why I first thought it was diverticulitis. I was like, oh, I'm for sure that's it. And they were like, no, it's not it. But the, the doctor was like, you are going to get diverticulitis at some point because you have a lot of ticks, which I'm like, that doesn't sound very good. But I guess he means ticks as the little like diverticulosis pockets. And I was like, oh, yay me. So, but they said I don't have diverticulitis at this point. So I don't know. Um, you're going to, you're giving a drink review on what the hospital gave you. Okay, no jokes about that. Uh, not gallbladder. I don't know. Were they specifically looking for donut poisoning? I mean, you know, just in case, maybe. Uh, hey, Russ Clark, twisted and tested? I don't know. Is that something they would have seen on a CAT scan? Um, I get CAT scans every night when I am home. Three cats walk all over me. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Constipation. It could be constipation too, uh, but I've been going regularly, so I don't know. It was good that you had it checked out. Continue to keep up the health eating. Yes. Hey, Linda Lover, how are you? Karen from Colorado. By all means, take care of yourself first and foremost. Yes. Glad you're feeling a little better. Thank you. See enough. It is. It's not raining here today, but it has been raining this week. Upper GI, I don't know. They do want me to go see my GI doctor when I get to California and get some more tests. They recommended a colonoscopy and an endoscopy, but then they said my doctor should do a you know review of everything and decide what other tests. 
Oh, cornbread. I do want cornbread, but I'm not, I'm not eating cornbread this week. Hey, Russ Clark, irritable bowel, bowel syndrome. I had this and used double up, used to double up in pain. I cut out a lot of things and drank much more water, which sorted it. Also, stress can be a big cause of stomach. Yeah, that's the other thing. My friend Angel, she was like, you're probably just having a lot of stress as well. And I'm like, maybe, but I took off a couple weeks. So, you know, I hadn't been feeling as stressed, but maybe it caught up to me. Um, but I don't know why it's cutting in and out, but hopefully we'll stay connected. health issues on the road are no joke that's true thank you Camille um, a lot of you are saying gallbladder so I'll probably have to get that checked out uh, get a jar and put one cup of oatmeal two cups of filtered water apple cider vinegar let it soak soak and cook flavor as desired okay thank you Russ I had something similar awful pain went to ER what had happened was I spent my first weekend with my girlfriend at the time and I didn't poo poo the entire time because I was nervous oh dang That'll do it. If you get impacted, that's a bad pain. But I've been going pretty regularly. Uh, Deborah says, I began passing a kidney stone while traveling, called ambulance, and passed out. The rest, oh, dang, that's serious. Uh, Cheryl's 102, that's hot. They're projecting 98 tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Lots of love from the UK. Thank you. Gallbladder is high under the ribs. Oh, okay. Gallbladder usually creates center back pain, referred to referred pain okay the heat causes my hunger to go away oh, okay that's true too yeah maybe I'm just too hot to eat your gallbladder would show up on this okay eat more good food low carbs no more sugar oh, I can't give up the sugar oatmeal is bad for you bananas too oh and greens bad keto lifestyle I'm not doing keto I can just tell you that right now I lost my appetite for two years before I found it I'm on a plant-based diet mostly um, I prefer a plant-based diet more whole foods and no and less like actually less meat so I for sure won't do keto um, nothing against it and you, everyone chooses their own path but I'm saying I don't prefer keto I don't like to eat that much meat and stuff um, CT scan only shows gallbladder anatomy can't assess the function of okay that's good to know thanks Monica um, thanks Ashley hope you feel better soon take care Stay dry with New Allison Sharp channel, General Hospital Bland Food Reviews, a soap opera, but don't eat the soap thinking it's soup. I know, it's spelled similarly. Um, let's see. Let's see. Thank you, Karen. Um, only one type of gallstones show up on cat scans. The other kind is not. Oh, okay. Uh, the soup there might taste like soap. Praying for your health. Thank you, Kayla. YouTube soaking oatmeal. It's fabulous for my digestion. Um, let's see. Hey, Francis. Uh, I Terry from Philly. Screen froze. Uh, yeah, I was having the screen was free freezing. I don't know why, but hopefully we're still reconnected. There are tons of very wealthy people there who probably want to keep the riff raff, raff, raff out of their parks. That's true. Chances are GI specialists will run an upper lower GI tests. It's a high dry heat with high humid, with humid heat didn't catch where you're at. Um, I'm in New York. Uh, let's see, my tummy issues are painful at times, won't go into details, but I have foods that trigger this. Hope you feel better soon. It's cool. 50, oh, 55 in Seattle. That sounds nice. Um, yeah, I've had, over the years I've had digestive problems, acid reflux, all the stuff. So that's why I try to eat a little bit better. But it's very difficult because I love food and, you know, I like to try new things. So that's why typically when I'm not filming stuff, I do try to eat, you know, fiber, uh, drink more water. But I had been slipping real hard, you know, because it's been hot and I've just been like, I don't even care. And so I had kind of slipped on eating better. So that's probably what's happening. But I do need to get some, uh, some more tests done. Hospital food, beware of the secret ingredient. Ew, gross. All is good here. Okay, awesome. Gallbladder is high pain under the ribs. Oh, okay, I didn't have that. Um, do you know if you have sensitivity? To I do. I'm lactose intolerant, which is, I usually take a lactate pill, um, and that usually is fine. Um, like, I can 
eat like ice cream or whatever, any dairy products if I take the lactate pill ahead of time. Um, so I don't know. Same here, Kathy. I got parched eating salty butter beans, but they keep me regular, especially with cornbread and buttermilk. I'm a vegetarian for 33 years. Keto vegetarian. Okay, awesome. Um, let's see. Well, we know you will be healed. God is awesome. Yes, amen. I receive that. Deborah on the go. Thank you so much for the $4.99. Let me give you a shout out. Um, thank you, Grat, for DMing me. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm going to give you a yodel. Thank you very much, Deborah on the go. I appreciate you so much. Uh, Gypsy Rose is in the house. They didn't catch my gallbladder for over a year. Hope you figured out. Dang. That's, that's why I'm trying to be diligent about it. It's hard when you're traveling because I don't want to just fly back on a whim, but also I want to be taking care of myself. So it's kind of hard to, to decide what to do because I'm not going to drive all the way back to California. Um, I'll probably just park and fly and then come back, but I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens oh deborah lee coming through with the 20 thank you so much let's give you let's give you this Hallelujah. Hallelujah. thank you so much that is a true blessing thank you for donating to the snack fund debbie lee and i love that little emoji it's like a little lemon hug a little lemon squeeze that's cute food lover here too i get it thank you thank you for the understanding i know it's like easy to just be like just Whoa, my hand hit the thing. I gave myself a shout out. Um, it's hard because it's a balance because I don't want to go through my life just eating like boring, bland food, but also I don't want to die early. So, you know, I try to eat healthy for the most part, but then I like to make videos about, you know, all the cool food stuffs. Gallstone attacks usually mimic the chest behind the solar plexus and back pain of a heart attack, but left. Without the, oh, without left arm issues. Okay. Yikes. I'm praying for everybody's health that you guys take care of yourselves as best you can and nobody has any health issues. Um, let's see. Mark Tinman. There ain't no woman around here that drink buttermilk. I asked a woman out and ordered buttermilk. She laughed at me. I would, I don't think I would be drinking buttermilk. Hopefully not gallbladder. I had mine removed at 25. Greasy food, corn, all the food, all the good fattening food. Yeah. If it's your gallbladder, then avoid fats. It creates a bile release. Oh, okay. I have been trying to eat less sugar and fat. You guys, you guys, I haven't had coffee this week. That's major. I haven't had any coffee because I usually like my coffee like super sweet and with a lot of cream. And so I was like, let me just not do it this week so that's a thing okay snack my back says i have to go god bless y'all thank you chris for being here uh don't ignore the pain if it continues to take care of god be with you thank you very much i scared myself yes um hey wendy how are you um yes yeah, so i am taking care of myself the best that i can um and i'm really gonna talk to my doctor back in california and see what she recommends and go from there because, you know, that's one thing about being on the road is, you know, like when you have your doctor in one state and you're so far away from there, you kind of have to work with what you have. So that's what's happening. Okay. Um, let's play a couple games unless you guys have something else to talk about. This week I'm going to, I'm going to do two would you rather questions. And then next week I'm going to, do, or not next week, but the week after, because for those of you that are just joining, we're going to start doing the live streams every other Saturday. So it's this one and the next one will be the 19th. And I'll put a little reminder up on the community tab um, on YouTube. Um, so this week we'll do two would you rather questions. And then in two weeks we'll do like a more in-depth question. Um, why is people against buttermilk? We have it every day back home in the ho and in the holler. Is I don't even know what's that. 
I've never tried buttermilk. Is that, I mean, just the sound of drinking buttermilk sounds like a lot. Like, I don't even drink regular milk. I can't just drink, like, a glass of regular milk. Like, I, that doesn't sound appealing to me. So buttermilk being more thick, I don't know. Like, maybe it's good. Maybe, like, on a cold, like, maybe on a cold day with a cold glass. Because I can't imagine drinking buttermilk in the heat. That sounds not good. Uh, games, games, games. Okay, June 19th, everyone, yes. Do the easy question first, please, for me. Okay. Uh, salads can cause gallbladder attacks. Any food can. It just depends on your body. I could eat greasy food and salad and no issues. Yes, I do have something to talk about. Okay. Um, no, it's not raining and thundering. Um, try a sip of buttermilk. It's tangy. Uh, maybe I'll do that on, like, one of them, I do like a, a video about like all the combinations of foods that you guys ask me to try. I don't know. All right. So the first question, speaking of gross food, is would you rather drink a cup of hot sauce or a cup of mustard? Both of those sound terrible, but I heard something similar to this question on a podcast. And so I was like, ew, that's gross. But... I was like, let me ask this to the snack packers. Um, it's raining in Georgia. Oh, awesome. I love rain. Is buttermilk anything like eggnog? Oh, yeah, that's a good question, Mike, because I do like eggnog, but I can only drink like a little cup of eggnog. Okay, Mark's coming through with the cup of mustard. Grant is going with hot sauce. Wendy's going with mustard. Jan is hot sauce. AGT is hot sauce. Austin is a cup of mustard. Denise is out. <laughs> um, Ju Judy is going with mustard. Oh, Mimi's going with the hot sauce. Well, just brought up my boots, but hot sauce. Okay, uh, Miss Peach is going with mustard. Hot sauce for A Rider. I don't care for mustard. Monique's going with hot sauce. Mustard helps with indigestion sometimes. Oh, okay. I did not know that. And Russ is going with mustard. I like eggnog without the sugar. Hot sauce is rough on my valves. <laughs> yeah. We love you. Get better, girl. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate you very much. Cup of mustard. If I had to choose, I feel... I'd feel it in the end if I ate hot sauce. End being literally. Yeah. <laughs> I would imagine. Um, let's see. Uh, Rebecca's going with mustard. Actually, I have a video on my YouTube channel, Coleman's English Mustard Taste Test. Oh, interesting. Go check out that video. Um, Don's going with mustard. JK is hot sauce. I despise mustard, but it'll kill me. I'll only do the mild stuff. Mike's mustard. Uh, it's the lesser of two evils. That's mustard, not mouse or moose turds. <laughs> or apple cider helps too. Cup of hot sauce will clean you out. That's facts. Well, you guys should know, for those of you that know me, you guys will know that I would not drink a bottle of hot sauce because that would be like my whole face would be on fire. Um, I don't, I like mustard, but I obviously wouldn't want to drink a cup of it. But between the two, I would choose to drink the cup of mustard. Hopefully, oh, that sounds terrible. But hot sauce, I think I'm allergic to hot stuff. Like, I really do. I like it burns my mouth, my face, everything. It's just, it's just too hot. Uh, hey, Catherine, I missed the first part of the chat, but I wanted to let you know that I love that you pray and make no bones about it. Thank you very much. Amen to that. Um, you need to drink buttermilk if you drink a cup of hot sauce. Yes, that would like coat your innards. All right. Um, let's see. Also, I'm trying to keep the live streams to about one hour because we were going for two hours before and it was a lot of fun um, but I know that it's summertime and people want to get on to their Saturdays and stuff like that and plus I think more people will join up if it's just for an hour because I think it's more manageable so we're gonna do one more would you rather and then we'll call it a weekend when I eat a hot dog it is only for the mustard I do like ketchup and mustard on my hot dog even the jalapeno the jalapeno it depends it depends. I could do like jalapeno juice, like on like black beans or something, but I don't know. 
I'd eat the mustard by the spoon and chase it with a tall glass of fresh buttermilk. Ah, a cup of mustard and chase it with a cup of hot sauce. Oh, dang, no. Kayla's going with hot sauce. Okay, um... Since we're talking about being in the hospital, uh, this is this is a bad segue, but um, if you died, <laughs> would you rather donate your body to science or donate all your organs, like an organ donor, like each of your parts goes to whatever, like you know your heart, your liver, your whatever, whatever. So would you rather donate your whole body to science for them to study it or donate your individual organs to whoever needs it? What would you would you rather? Um, yeah, that was a bad segue. <laughs> if you drink the hot sauce and the mustard and you died, okay. So Denise is going with organ donor. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rachel Joan Fleming is organ donor and have already signed my license for that. Me too. Uh, Judy is organ donor. Uh, Kath Kitty, donate organs. Austin, organ donation. Oh, Rebecca's going with whole body. JK, organs to save lives. Monique's organ donor. A writer, individual organs. You can do both organs first. Interesting. First Presbyterian Church on the park. Awesome. Thanks for being here. They can part me out. <laughs> um, who needs it? Uh, people be talking like they drink buttermilk. I don't know anyone who drinks buttermilk. I've never heard of that. That's the first time. I'm, that's not the first time, but I think I've heard people drink buttermilk, but not very often. Catherine's going with organ donor. Mark says, I prefer to be cremated. Uh, who knows which Frankenstein will get a hold of my tissue and reanimate me? Um, Cheryl, I'm an organ donor. Gypsy Rose is going with donate to science. Um, organ donor or maybe piano donor. Um, that's funny. I do like funny puns. Uh, Grant's going with organ donor. Uh, Don Don is going with organ donor. Is that driver's license? Uh, Adventures of Miss Peach donate individual organs to people. And AGT, I'm an organ donor. Not sure my organs would be up to par. <laughs> yeah, after me being in hospital, I'm like, do you even want some of my organs? Because some of them are a lot of sugared up down there. Um, skin is our largest organ. Yep. Gallbladder detox on YouTube. A lady does that does that helps her okay I've drank buttermilk since I was a child yummy oh interesting I think donate organs as it would help hopefully help others who have a chance of continued life donate my organs isn't that how the state of Oregon got its name going to heaven to be with Jesus um, <coughs> Austin asks what would I choose I don't know is that like I would definitely, I'm an organ donor on my driver's license. I'm an organ donor. So I would choose that. Um, but if I'm with Mimi, part me out, like, you know, I'm dead. So use whatever you need, my eyeballs, my skin, whatever, whatever you need. But also if then they can take the empty carcass and study it for science, then that's fine too. But I think I'm just so like nervous against people like professionals or organizations doing stuff. Well, I guess you have to have some trust if you're dead. I mean, you don't have to have any, any trust when you're dead, but I guess beforehand you have to trust that they're gonna do the right thing and get your organs uh, to the right people. And if they're gonna do it for science, that they're gonna use it for the right purposes. Uh, but I would just do the organ donation because there's a lot of people you know, on like the donors list that are waiting for parts. So, I mean, hopefully if I died, they could use all the stuff and do that. Um, like I said, let's see. Mark, my organs are blown out. Best to just throw them, <laughs> throw them in the fire. <laughs> Plus, I am not in shape, so it would probably be better to leave my body to science fiction. Part me out, yeah. My dad was old when he died, so his organization uh, were used up, but they were able to use his skin. Oh, and I'm an organ. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. And Kayla says science. Um, the fear of many people, not, not good that your dad died. I, you know, my condolences, but I'm saying that's good that they were able to use that for someone else. The fear of many people is they won't try hard to keep you alive if they can use your organs. I don't, I mean, I don't think that's the, I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a doctor or a surgeon, but I feel like they do everything they can to keep you alive. Right. For the most part, don't you think? 
that's the consensus I would say. Like, I would say like they would probably do their best. And then obviously if they think that you have a higher chance of not making it long term, then yeah, they're going to be like, well, you know, this could be used for somebody else. But I think they probably try. I don't think they are out there just being like, you know what? It's a 50 50. Let's just kill her off, you know, but I don't know. Never leave earth without Jesus. Amen. Yeah, if you don't know Jesus, maybe give him a try. That's what I say. Um, it's morbid, but so awesome that we have this option. Yes, I agree. If you do not want, if you do want to leave your body to science, you have to prearrange it here in Canada. Oh, I didn't know that. And Debbie Lee says whole body. Uh, not my fear, but I've heard it. Okay. Um, I don't know. I've actually never even thought about that. Because I know here in, well, I don't know. I don't know if it's the whole United States, but in California, you get like a little pink dot on your driver's license that says you're an organ donor, but they've never asked if you want to donate the rest of it to science. So I don't know. But I get, you know, I'm saying like once my body's dead, it's like just do whatever, whatever's going to help somebody else. Bye. I'm going to watch my other videos. Awesome. Awesome. Austin. When I die, I would truly love to look down from heaven if I make it and see myself helping other people and families. Amen. That's good. Me too. Reminds me of that Will Smith movie, 40 pounds, or was it four pounds? I know which movie you're talking about, and I don't know the name, but it's like eight pounds, seven pounds, 50 pounds. I don't know what it was, but it was a really good movie. It was very emotional. Medical power of attorney would be your advocate at the end of your life. Okay. Well said, AGT, for sure. See y'all next time. Take care, Austin. Thank you. Bye, Mimi. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, I think I would go with donate my organs because that's like immediately helps somebody. And I know that donating it to science could probably help in other ways, but I think I'd rather probably just do the organ donation. Um, hey, Shang, how are you? All right. So does anybody have anything else to discuss or talk about real quick before we head out after this I need to well it's still hot I am trying to take a walk every day especially now just like get my blood flowing get my you know organs lubricated with water and just get it popping but it's so hot so I think I'm gonna try to take a walk like right before the Sun goes down but I'm not sure um, and then I don't know, I'm going to eat something basic. Like the last couple nights I've just eaten fruit for dinner because I'm just trying to eat very basic. Uh, you can do both. Okay. Let's see. See y'all in a couple weeks. Take care. If quality of life is zero, why better to, why better to go to someone have a good life? Yes, exactly. I would like to donate my organ organs, but I've heard too many horror stories of people being aware while in a coma. I don't trust them. Yeah. If I'm in a coma, don't, don't be trying to cut me off you know, life and stuff like that. But if I'm a hundred percent dead, then that's okay. Take a flashlight. Yeah. No, I won't walk in the dark. Um, I won't walk in the dark. I will only walk like right before the sun goes down. Go to the mountains. It is cooler at higher elevation. Yes, that's true. Hope you feel better soon. Thank you. Thank you to the mods. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. I'll send know that you are my person. Thank you so much, Rachel. I appreciate it. And I do appreciate the moderators as well. Have to go get some sleep now, but we'll join the next live feed. Love following journey. You are fabulous. Uh, just give your body a 10 minute walk and get it over with. Yeah. Do you have a PO box? I don't do debit cards, but would totally send a money order. I don't have a PO box. Sorry. Uh, buttermilk is good with what with I missed it. Buttermilk is good with crumbled cornbread in it. Oh, I've never had that. We love you, Allison. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Mike. You should go in the morning. I know, but I didn't walk today. I walked yesterday. Um, AGT coming through with five spot. Hold on a second. Get my app open. Let's do this one. Thank you so much, AGT. I appreciate it very much, AGT. Wait, wait, wait. Hats off to my fellow moderators. I walk in the mornings when it is cool. Oh, yeah. Um, yesterday, I walked at Planet Fitness because it was so hot, and I just I had to get my shower yesterday anyway, so I did my walk on the treadmill for an hour. Um, maybe I'll just go back there. If, it's, if it stays too hot, I might just go back to Planet Fitness. 
Um, but I do like to walk outside. Uh, you take care. Feel better praying for a hedge of angels around you. Thank you. Safe, stay safe. Sending hugs. Feel better. Um, by Alice and prayers going out to feel better. Drink a bottle of buttermilk and force yourself to walk for 10 minutes. Then record it in your journal as eating a toad. That doesn't sound great. All right. So we're going to wrap it up for today. Again, the next live stream is going to be on the 19th. Um, and I'll be putting, starting back with posting videos this week. So stay tuned for that. And I pray for you guys and pray for me. Um, have a blessed week. Have a wonderful week with uh, family and friends. Get out and take a walk, drink water. And thank you guys for being such a wonderful part of my life. And thank you to the snack packers that just are so encouraging to one another. Have a wonderful week and wonderful week-ish, week and a half. And then I'll see you guys on the 19th. Bye for now. I got to read these comments before I close out because once I close out, I can't see them anymore. To all the snack pack. Stack Chat crew and new Travel Stack people, we love you. We pray. We really thank you. Yes, indeed. So glad you've got a health care plan in place. Hope you feel better. Thank you very much. Contact me if you need anything. Thank you, Mike. Let's go to Chick-fil-A for delicious nuggets. <laughs> Make a memory. God bless and good night. Pray for you. Safe travels. Whoop, whoop. Take care, snack back. See you on the 19th. Praying. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye for now.